Hey y'all, it's Drew, and today I have a very interesting video for y'all. My very first YouTube video was this video right here. It was me predicting the SEC football schedule, every single team, what records they'd have, and I eventually went and did the NFL, the Big 12, and the ACC. So I didn't want to just go off and say, I did that, and that was what I had. I want to actually see how well I did. And so I'm going to get into the recap of all of the teams that I predicted. How well did I do? Did I get things correct? Did I get things wrong? It's gonna be a fun video. Also, since football is not going on right now, comment down below what you guys want me to do in the off season to take up some time before we get into the 2021 to 22 NFL and college football season. Thank you guys for watching. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see y'all in the recap. All right, so my first video was this SEC predictions video. Um, on the top left is where all of the predictions that I had from that video are. And then on the right side will be the ESPN final standings from the season. I wanted to kind of also help you guys out and put some arrows so you guys can see a lot clearer on what I did correct because I know it's not lining up. So the yellow arrows are going to be what I did 100% correct. So four to eight and two, four to eight and two, right? Vanderbilt win the list. Alabama win, winning or lose list. I don't, is that a word? Undefeated. Anyways, and Mississippi State I was correct on. Whereas the red arrows are where I was three or more losses or wins off. So Missouri, I predicted two and eight. Missouri went five and five. So that was three games off from my prediction. So that was like a, a an error, an error, really bad. I am, I can't talk today. Nonetheless, let's continue. Looking at it, I think I did very decent. Some games I was one off, a and 8-1, A&M 8-2. They didn't play a game, right? If they would have lost, that would have been correct. But I think I did fairly well on the SEC. I'm most comfortable with that. a and in that conference. Moving on to the Big 12, a and came from the Big 12, so I do know a lot of their teams. I've watched them before. I follow this conference a lot. Except for Iowa State, I was within two or less games. And two, I was 100% correct. Um, so obviously Iowa State, they had the best record. They shocked everyone. I had them going six and four. So great for them. Um, I was off. Texas, I was off on a little bit. I had Oklahoma State in the conference championship game. They did not make it. So that was probably my other L in this conference. But overall, I think I did fairly decent. Um, you can kind of check the numbers, pause the video, however you'd like. Want to make this video kind of short. The ACC, I'm new to the ACC. I'm still trying to learn all these teams. And so this was, my, this was my worst conference. I didn't get a single team, 15 teams. I didn't get a single one 100% correct. Now, mind you, like Pittsburgh was five and five. Pittsburgh, or I had them going five and six and they went five and five overall, six and five. So, you know, here and there, I was maybe a game off, half a game off with COVID. Um, I know everyone with the Notre Dame Clemson, that flipped a lot of people. But the biggest L, I think, has to be Louisville. I had them going 8-3. and three. I had a bunch of hype on them. I read a bunch of articles. I thought, they're going to do well. And they just, <laughs> they did so bad. I feel terrible. This is my, this is my one regret in my predictions. But um, that was the ACC. Moving on, I did NFL videos, split them in two, NFC, then AFC. So with the NFC, it was very hard. Uh, <laughs> mind you, the NFL has a lot more games and have a lot more teams. So there's more chances to really do bad. But as I went through the numbers, I wanted to kind of say, was I really this bad or, or was it like just a few outliers? So I changed the red arrows. I said, if it was four or more games off, what would it look like? And then I said, okay, I now understand it, right? Within the top teams, sure, the Packers went 13-3. and three. I had them going 10-6, and six, right? I didn't think that they were going to do that well, but I still had them winning their division, doing well. I had all of the teams that were supposed to do well that sucked wrong. Cowboys lost their quarterback. 49ers lost everything. That kind of makes sense. And two wins. So I wasn't I, – I wanted to make sure that I didn't feel so bad when in the comments, everyone's going to say, Drew, you were terrible. Why do I even subscribe? And yet you should, because I think I'm a fun person and I'm working on my craft. Moving on to the AFC, I also did very bad. And if you're wondering what this orange arrow is, 
it was because I predicted the Bengals going four and twelve, and they went four wins, which is technically correct. But with the tie, you know, I just I wasn't going to predict a tie in that. So I was I put it as a yes. I understand it's like a little asterisk. That's why I put it orange. Nonetheless, moving on, same thing. This is three or less wins, and when you take it to four or less wins, I was a lot more accurate. So I wanted to dive deeper into the numbers to prove to you guys that I'm not the worst analyst in the world, and this was my one time. And so out of the 71 teams that I predicted, I was 100% correct on 14% of the times, 10 teams. And I was wrong, three or more games wrong, 21 times, so 29% of the time, four or more wins wrong, nine times, so 13%. So when you're talking about, as an analyst, if I'm able to predict a whole team's record within two or less games, 71% of the time I'm correct, and within three or less games, 87%. Now, I definitely want those numbers up. I, I, I'm going to be working a lot harder in this offseason to try to do this, and, and as I've been watching last year's ACC games, which I usually don't, and a lot more NFL games, hopefully I'll be able to have a better record moving forward. But that's the end of the video, guys. I'm glad if you stayed till the end. And if you did, please comment down below what videos you want me to do in the football offseason. This is a football channel, and so I wanted to do some more fun videos in the offseason before we get into more analyzing X's and O's videos during the season. So comment those ideas down below. Like the video. Share with your friends. Thank you all for watching. Without further ado, I'll see you on the next one. Be safe.